Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is going to be covering the Honeywell Home Pro 3000 Series Programmable Thermostat. Now, this video is going to be covering how to fully program the device. I already made a previous video covering how to manually override this two different ways. And then the next video, I'll be covering the setup menu, the installer setup menu, which is important when you first install this device in your home. So let's get into the thermostat, and I'll show you how to fully program this. As you can see here, we have the fan switch, the system, and then we have our buttons here. So we want to leave the fan on auto if you don't know. Okay, that's going to keep it automatically switching between heating and cooling accordingly and only turn on when it's needed. If you switch it to off, sorry, if you switch it to on, it's going to permanently stay on 24-7. So you don't want that unless you're trying to do some kind of air circulation in the house. So go ahead and switch that to auto. Your system, very important. So depending if you want to program heat or cool, you want to switch those um, for each decided program you want to make. So if we're programming heat, keep it in heat. And then when you're done with that, go over to cool and then program your cooling options, your cooling set points and days. So let's start off with heat because it's just simple, okay? Um, we have here on the screen the inside temperature, which is the ambient room temperature. So that's the the actual temperature of the room. Then we have a time in the middle. And then we have the set point on here on the right. All right, so to set this up for full programming, you're going to go want to go ahead and hit the set button. Once you hit the set button, it's going to ask you to set the clock. So set your time. It's very important. Hit it one more time. And then set your day. Also very important. Then it's going to progress to each period of the day here. As you can see, it's, it's in wake. There's four periods of the day. And this particular thermostat will do Monday through Friday in one block. So what you're inputting here will apply to Monday through Friday. And then there'll be a, section, a second section for Saturday through Sunday. That's just the way this program works on this uh, thermostat. You can change it, I think. Um, or you might have to get a different thermostat part number if you want individual days. So let's continue and we want to set the time for that time period, which is wake. So this is fully adjustable. You can have wake be 5 a.m. or wake be 8 a.m. It's up to you. So you will have to go through this and change it accordingly. So adjust your time. And then once you adjust your time, you hit set one more time. And then you will go to the temperature that you want that that period, that wake period to be. So we're going to set it to 72. Okay, and then advance to the next by hitting set one more time. And now, as you can see, it advanced to the leave period of the day. Now, the same thing is going to happen. You're going to have to repeat this cycle, the time and the set point, over and over again for each period of the day, as you can see here. I'm just going to cycle through it to show you what it looks like you have wake leave return and sleep and as you can see here we progress to the saturday and sunday block so there's two basically two blocks on this thermostat to program so it will take some time to figure out uh what temperature set point you want for each period of the day this is something that may, may take months may take years and then allow you to fine tune what you want uh, for the heating cycle. And then when you're done doing that, you will have to go ahead and do the same thing for cooling. Okay, that's this is the biggest mistake people make. They forget to program this. Or they'll have it in the off position, which uh, defaults back to the last, um, the last kind of like heating cycle or cooling cycle. So depending on which one you had it switched to last, um, don't make that mistake and, you know, make sure it's in the proper, the proper mode. But that there is how you pro fully program it. It's very simple. It's, it's basically iterations of um, adjusting those set points in that time frame for each period of the day. Like I said, there's four. And that's it, you know. And then if you want to go back to the main menu, you have to complete this and then it's going to save. So that there now, we're all set to go. Uh, it's back to the main display. And as you can see, it's running a schedule. It's on leave, 
and today is Monday, and it's doing its thing. If you want to double check to make sure it's running the schedule, all you have to do is hit run. If you're ever in the manual option, as you can see here, it says temporary. To go back to the program, all you have to do is hit run, and it'll go back to the default programmed schedule in the device. Simple as that. And there you have it. Go ahead and program your cool, and then you're all set to go. So that there is the full programming of the device. If you want to check out how to manually override two different ways, as well as the setup menu, check out my next video. I really got, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions or comments, please place them right down below. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.